How's it going, guys? Uh, this is, I think, my first, um, like, free-handed vlog. Um, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning, I think. My clock is broken. I don't know why I'm looking. Um, it's the morning of the day of the Brit Awards. Um, I've been asked to go, so uh, I'm just getting all my stuff ready um, to head to London. Um, because it's at the O2 Arena, and, uh, I apologise, I look terrible, I've just woken up, I have to shower, I have to shave, I have to look fabulous, fabulous, but, uh, my, my suit is here, um, it's up here, um, gotta wear that, can't just turn up like this, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited, like, I, I've never been to anything like this before, you know, uh, to be invited to the Brit Awards is like, it's like next level shit. Like I've just ranked up in XP, I think. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm kind of nervous though, you know. I don't know who I'm going to bump into because like... I'm hoping I bump into Jennifer Lawrence. If I bump into Jennifer Lawrence and th this is going to very quickly turn into a me throwing up vlog. I will. I'd vomit all over her if I see her. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just a romantic, okay? That's what I do. I'm like Stan from South Park, you know. But um, I, I doubt she'll be there. But if I do see her, I will henceforth with vomit and nervousness. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get all my stuff together. Um, I just put out a vine announcing that I'm going to be uh, going to the Brit Awards since I've been invited. And yeah, uh, I'll try and make this vlog as interesting as I can. I usually set my camera up over here. I usually stand over here, don't I? Like, you know like right here and vlog this is my vlogging area <laughs> but I'm gonna be taking the phone with me today obviously and I'm gonna be like you know I'll capture some of me on the road uh, when I get there uh, I'm meeting up with a team um, that works for like Dr. Dre and Beats and stuff um, and I'll be uh, I'll be going with those guys so um, I'll vlog them I, well I try I try and vlog as much of my day as possible it's gonna be a busy ass day so, um, stay tuned. Um, yeah. Let's have some fun. <laughs> um, I just, I just got an email saying that, um, Kanye West is apparently supposed to be making a big, uh, surprise. I apologize for the mess. It's, it's, it's work in progress. <laughs> um, I'll just turn this way. There you go. That looks neat, right? Okay, so I just I just got an email saying that Kanye West and Taylor Swift and Madonna and stuff are going to be at the Brit Awards doing a big surprise thing. Um, I really I really hope I get to meet Taylor Swift because I love Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I listen to like heavy metal and stuff, but but a bit of Taylor Swift is is um, everyone needs Taylor in their life. I'm sorry, you just do, and if you don't accept her. I sound like it's a religion. Taylor Swift's a religion. Anyway, I got I got to go. I just thought I'd say that. I'm I'm very excited. I might meet her. Yeah. <laughs>
can explain the way I'm missing you tonight. This emptiness, this hole that I'm inside. These tears, they tell their story. Um, I'm, I'm back from the Brit Awards. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't record too much of me walking around the actual event and talking. There wasn't really um, a lot of allowances for walking around and such, and uh, I didn't get to actually meet anyone and vine with them, which was a great shame. But I was right there. I was so, you know, in the video footage, it looks like I'm miles away, but I was so close. Like, I could see all of them at their, like, their tables and stuff. I could make out faces. Really, I was just staring at Taylor. <laughs> but it was an amazing night. I wanted to record a little bit of my return journey home, because I know how these vlogs uh, work. But, um, you know, I was just with a team, and we were like, you know, when we weren't in our little private booth, um, we were just being moving from one place to the other really quick. Like, I didn't have a lot of uh, chances for recording. So this is probably, like, the worst walkabout vlog ever. But... When I go somewhere next time, I'm going to have more equipment and stuff, and I'm going to make sure I can vlog more for you guys. So, but, uh, yeah. Other than that, the night was amazing. Uh, like I say, we had our own little uh, private booth. I was there with Beats by Dr. Dre. Um, had a few um, British um, athletes in the box with us as well. Uh, Rizzle Kicks was there as well. Got to chill with them. And um, it was amazing. I, like, I, I'm not used to it. Like, we were there, and we had, like, our own little, like, private chef, and waiter and stuff and everything was brought to us and the, the p person I am you know when they come along and they're like you know I'll pour it pour your drink for you sir and I'm like you, give me that pour it myself screw the glass <laughs> that's what that's what I'm like I'm not, I'm not used to it like all this VIP stuff but it was nice um, I've uh, I really enjoyed it um, Taylor's performance was amazing she looked fabulous Ed Sheeran I've heard um, his performances were amazing, but until so you're there, and it was amazing because like all of the other acts, like Kanye and and Taylor and uh, Simon, Simon, I meant Sam. I'm sorry, Sam. Your name, your name's not Simon. What the fuck is that all? Uh, they all had like big set pieces and pyrotechnics. I take that had like a massive ball of fire above Gary Barlow's head. You know, it's like it only takes a minute, girl. We set on fire. Yeah, they had lo <laughs> they had loads of shit going on everywhere, but um, Ed Sheeran, just this little guy, the stage was just clear. There was a little ramp. There was nothing. There wasn't even much of a light show. He just turned up with his guitar and he just blew the lid off the arena like none of the others could. All he had was a guitar. It was um, amazing to see that that energy from just just that. It just goes to show that he's a very talented, gifted musician, and he definitely deserved to win. But that Madonna fall, though, my God, I can't believe, I, and I was actually there, and I saw it clear as day, bless her heart. So I think, um, if you've obviously probably seen um, now Madonna at uh, the fall, what happened was um, she had this big robe on, and I could see her walking up the robe before it went to air. Walking up the robe? The Walking up the ramp thing, aisle, whatever. Shut up. And she was uh, had uh, like her big strong backup dancers holding her cape. And as she was going up the steps, I, I think they were supposed to yank it, and the cape was supposed to detach. And she was like Madonna, but instead she was like Madonna shit. 
And she, she went from like the third or fourth step and they just pulled her off and bang and... But respect to her, man. She, even though she looked pissed and maybe a little bit of, you know, hurt, I'm sure she busted her hip or something. Even though that happened, she handled it like a boss, you know? She just got up and she was like... Vogue. And she just carried on. Um, but I could see, like, when it cut away back to Anton Deck, like, we could see her walking off stage and she was pissed! Someone in the wardrobe department hasn't got a job anymore. The guy backstage, like, making her next outfit, like, I'm going to make a larger cape this time, and she's just going to walk in there like, Majulio, did you see what just happened? Did you see what just happened? Did you see what just happened? I fell. I fell, and I'm a Nazi now. I'm a German. I'm really German. You're fired, Majulio. Get out. That's what happened backstage. I saw the whole thing. So yeah, all in all, an incredible night, and um, I, I was, I felt, <laughs> oh, <laughs> ding dong. <laughs> I, f <laughs> I felt really honoured and privileged to be there. Like you know, um, to be invited to the Brit Awards is something that doesn't happen every day, and to be sitting amongst a lot of people like you know some idols. Like I found a new love for Ed Sheeran that night. Um, I got to see Miguel Taylor. Uh, Russell Crowe, Gladiator, was there right in fucking front of me. Just so many idols, you know. Um, I know I could also, I got a clear shot of Simon Cowell as well. I tweeted like I could throw my tea at him from here, but I don't want to hit Taylor. If I hit Taylor with my tea, we'd never get married. Uh, but no, honestly, uh, an amazing night. And like I, I keep saying, and uh, some of you get annoyed when I say this because you think it's all like me and my success and I, I deserve it. And, you know, that's really kind, but you have to understand that... Um, Without you guys, shit like this doesn't happen. Like, you guys made this happen for me. Um, and I owe you everything. Like, one day you'll find out why I owe you so much. Um, but things like this as well. Um, I owe you guys everything. Like, I, I went to the Brit Awards last night and it was all because of you. So thank you so much for, like, following me and supporting me, I guess. Um, I know this was a crap vlog. I know it wasn't really that good. I know it didn't have shots of me, like, from down below going, I am at the O2 Arena. I know that. But it gave you a taste of what I experienced. Thank you. Ed Sheeran ain't got shit on me, though. See that? You'd go to the O2 Arena to see that, wouldn't you? Like, love, caress my channel. Take my channel to the Oscars next. Hint, hint. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.